welcome back to our channel we will show you in this video a few tournaments happened in san antonio and austin in texas usa as well as a few places where you can play badminton in san antonio texas subscribe to our channel if you like the video and click on the bell icon to get the notification I was searching badminton courts in San Antonio since we moved there. Most of the places where we went do not have badminton court and finally we found San Juan Brady Center and talked to the person in charge. He allowed us to play on Wednesdays between 6 to 8 pm. Gradually the number of players increased and he allowed us one weekend as well to play there. It's a multi-purpose to court. To make the badminton popular in San Antonio, we thought like let's conduct a tournament. I knew it's going to be a hectic task to conduct a tournament. We tried our level best to make it as professional as possible. Even though this was the first badminton tournament I conducted, we came up with a poster, flyers distributed in all shops, restaurants, in all the badminton courts where we play in San Antonio. We had to arrange trophies, snacks, feather shuttle cocks. Came up with the fixtures. Lot of rescheduling requests were coming in. rules were written lot of effort was spent on coming up with the fixtures with allocated time and the court number on it we have communicated with all the participants through the email as well as the whatsapp chat lot of time was spent on posting the updates in facebook group called san antonio badminton tournaments we arranged two notice boards in the court with all the live scores and the results of each game and we have requested our badminton buddies to update it after every match with all the help from my badminton buddies the tournament went really well as per the plan we had at least 50 percentage uh, more people started coming to play badminton in the preside batterian church in hilotis after the tournament conducted i was somehow able to manage all the games in one day we were explaining the purpose of having this tournament we had to pay monthly fee to the presbyterian church to use their gym for badminton on thursdays so we were requesting all of them to join us on thursday if players are more we can think of reducing the daily fee from 7 dollars to 5 dollars at that time San Juan Brady Center tournament. This was our second tournament in San Antonio. We had the experience of conducting one tournament already, so it was kind of uh, pretty easy for us to conduct. Also, my colleague Nishant helped uh, to conduct the tournament. And most of my time was spent for making the fixtures. I got a lot of phone calls. Uh, related to rescheduling their matches because they were unavailable i tried my level best uh, to accommodate all the request we had one entire day to complete the tournament and we got really overwhelming responses both tournament conducted in feather shuttle cocks one feedback i received from last tournament we conducted was many got only one match to play after paying the registration fee if they are out in the first round itself So this time fixtures are prepared with two pools called winners and losers pool if you lost your first match you get into the losers pool and you get more matches in that pool so we made sure everybody gets minimum two matches or more we had only one day to complete the entire tournament and you can imagine the same players would qualify to doubles quarters and singles quarters so there should be enough gap between their doubles and singles matches That's why making fixture is the most time consuming task for these two tournaments which we conducted.
I could have cancelled the women's singles because I remember we had only seven entries. But again, a lot of requests came to me uh, asking us, please have that category as well. This was more competitive tournament than the first uh, tournament which we conducted because as I said a lot of college players came uh, from nearby cities. We arranged the food as well in the badminton court because the player has to stay back if he qualifies for the next round. I remember we went to the subway ordering around 40-45 chicken teriyaki and collected that and went to the badminton court on that day. Hi, uh, I'm Santosh. I started playing badminton when I was 10 years old. Of course, winning Austin Open tournament with Sajish is one of my fondest memories in San Antonio. And also, I would like to thank Sajish and Reshmi for conducting all the badminton tournaments in San Antonio. Personally, I got a lot of close friends playing badminton in San Antonio. I personally learned a lot of things after conducting that tournament. I wanted a forum where all the badminton players are available in San Antonio. You can just post that in the Facebook group where all the badminton players are available. So you don't have to spend a lot of time for marketing. I used to request all the members who participated in the tournament to join that group because we used to post the live updates of, of the tournament scores as well as all the future updates about the tournaments in San Antonio. As you can see the Facebook group San Antonio Badminton Tournament having summary of each final matches with the video and pictures taken during that match. Again a lot of time has been spent to keep that group up to date and live. Looking forward to conduct more tournaments in San Antonio later. So requesting all of you, those who haven't joined that group, please join the Facebook group San Antonio Badminton Tournaments. We can play badminton at UTSA as well in San Antonio on weekends. The badminton club timings are Saturdays and Sundays around 2 pm to 5 pm. You need to be a member or a member should refer you to get into the UTSA and you need to pay around $5 to use the facility for the entire day. I met this nice guy called Sandosh. We used to play cricket together but never knew he plays badminton until we played a match against each other in the semis I believe. So we wanted to play a tournament together. Finally we found there is an Austin Open badminton tournament. We have given our names for both singles and doubles. So we knew that it's going to be a challenge playing singles and doubles in, in the same day in a professional tournament. Austin Open Badminton Tournament. This is the toughest badminton tournament I have ever played in my life. I remember we ended the court in Austin. We saw a lot of people practicing and we were like, okay, let's pack and go uh, seeing their standard. As I said, we both wanted to play a tournament together. That's the only purpose of participating in that tournament, knowing that it is a professional tournament. I still remember when we were driving, we were telling like, we might be able to come back in a couple of hours because we should be out in the first or second round. I was drained uh, by the time pre-quarter single started. I was telling this me also, uh, there might be a cramp or sprain around the corner, which could happen at any point of time. Luckily, we both went into doubles final as well as I was into singles final. And remember, we are playing against young and talented, professionally trained badminton players there. 
we decided to play doubles final before my singles final because we had more chance to win the doubles title we both were playing really well Santosh anyway trained in Pulelo Gobichand Academy so that really helped us for this would be one trophy which I would be uh, considering one of the most valuable one considering the efforts we have put in that tournament there was a moment where we felt we might need to quit either singles or doubles uh, to continue uh, because it was really challenging uh, to play continuous matches there apparently I think the best player was my opponent in the singles final uh, he got injured in the first set if I remember 15-17 uh, in the 21-3 sets game uh, so he had to pull out from the final so I was the singles champion unfortunately I don't have any videos of our tournament matches all these pictures were taken by the organizers